Hi guys, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. So we have a fully functional tic-tac-toe, but the algorithm is so dumb that we can beat it very easily. So now we need to make it intelligent and we can do it by using the algorithm Minimax. It is a very popular algorithm that is used in two-player games, for example tic-tac-toe, chess, etc. This algorithm works in a similar way we work. To understand it better, assume what you do when you play tic-tac-toe with your friend. You evaluate the board to find out which cell can give you a win. And to evaluate it, in your mind you perform each move and then you also think what move your opponent may perform. You do this thing in your brain and we need to do the same thing in computer's brain. And this process is called generating the tree for all the possibilities. And to explain this thing better, I have a sample here and this is, assume this is the current state of our board because this way we cannot evaluate it from the start line because we have so many possibilities but for the computer it is very less and we can evaluate all the possibilities with the help of program but as a human we cannot do the all the possibilities. So let's assume that this is the current state of our board and computer is playing which is X. Now we have three possibilities to make a move for X and we want computer to win or computer wants to win. So what computer will do? Computer will generate all the possible moves. So the first move is here. We can put a move here and this is giving us no result. So then computer will think when I place a move here what next can happen so the next thing that can happen is the opponent which is the player can place a move here and it is a win for the player and a loss for our computer and in the next move the player can place the move here and again it will go ahead because this is no win for anyone and game can move ahead but assuming that the opponent is also playing optimally and he will not choose this cell he will choose this cell only to make a win because player also wants to win and the computer also wants to win so player will move here but still we are going to ev evaluate every possible move now if we come into this situation it will go ahead and it is a draw situation so we will not go for this move because it is giving us either a loss or draw which is not a good case now the second possibility is we will place the move here now if we will place the move here game can go ahead and again we have two possibilities the first possibility is player can make the move here and if we go to this possibility we are coming to a win because then we will place the move here and it is a win for the computer but if player will place the move here then it is a draw in the next level so this move is also going to a win or a draw so this is also not the best case to go now we have third option here if we perform the move here it is a certain win so this is the best move so we need to select this move and for every state of the board, we need to follow the same process. For every move, we will generate all the possibilities by calling the function recursively. So this is the thing that we will implement in our application to make our tic-tac-toe unbeatable. Uh, so I hope you got the basic idea of the algorithm that how it works. So that's all for this video friends, in the next video we will add this functionality in our game by putting some actual code. Meanwhile if you have any question then you can leave it on the comment section below. So thank you everyone, this is Bilal Khan now signing off.